All right, well, so being vulnerable, uh, I feel like my game is in an interesting place. Uh, I'm lucky enough, enough to get out like three to four times and play nine holes every week, you know? Week? Yeah. And you have a kid? I, I do, yes. I have a very loving and caring wife. Wow. I've laid down the ground rules. So when I'm able to play, I, I shoot between 69 and 82, right? And it's been that way for a couple years now. And I don't know if I'm getting better. I don't know exactly what I particularly need to get better if I was to look at it systematically, right? Yep. And so I feel a little frustrated, like I'm, I'm at a plateau. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. When you say 69 and 82, how many times have you shot 69 in the last 20 rounds and how many times have you shot 82? <laughs> like, what, what, like, narrow it down to the four shots. Yeah, I mean, it's got to be like 74 to 78. Okay, right? so that's really the game. Yeah, you yeah. can get hot or you can get bad. So yeah. but 74 to 78, what do you want? Where do you want to move that thermostat? Where do you want to move it to? We, we want to go lower. Support, right? though. Is that 73 uh, to 71? Is that 69 to 72? What was it, 65? 70 to 74 would be okay. great to move oh. it there, right? Because okay. you got the lower ones than that, you got the higher ones than that. Cool. All right. You want advice on that? I mean, it, <laughs> that's gonna cost you money. Uh, <laughs> All right. So my suggestion would be this: is first and foremost, what I would do is I would say, let's get off the tips and let's move forward to the forward tees. So I'm talking as far forward as you can to be able to shoot, let's say, a 65. So you go way up there and you play the par threes at 100, the par fours at say 250, 260. So you can almost drive them. Par fives at like 320, so you can hit wedges onto them. Like one is, can you hit your driver dead straight? Right? right, because the minute we move up there, you're gonna find it really difficult because it's darn tight. Yep. Number two is, you're gonna to have to learn how to chip and putt the ball close to the hole. And then number three is, get comfortable making a ton of birdies. Because a lot of people will get one or two under par and then they'll tighten up, right? And then That's myself, I, yeah, and then for sure. So I wanna give you the ability to get there. And then once you shoot, say a 65 or a 66, I want to start laddering back 10 yards. Every time you repeat the score you want, move back 10 yards. But I'm too lazy to walk all the way up there because the second thing I'd tell you is worst ball golf. So that's a way to show how you get lower. But now how do we take double bogeys out of play? We're going to play off the tips right. and we're going to play worst ball golf. So we're going to hit it twice every time. Whatever the worst one is, you're going to go ahead and play the worst one. And the idea here is obviously you're going to challenge yourself to be unbelievably patient, unbelievably consistent. But then when you play that other game, you're going to be very aggressive. And, and, and if you want, you can play one hole worst ball, next hole off the front tees, next hole worst hole. So you're turning it on, turning it off, and you've got two nine hole scores and then yeah. challenge yourself to beat those scores. Love it. Best drive of the day. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now you see the first one was striped. The second one's a little hooky into those trees. Set! Uh oh. So maybe when playing worst ball golf, maybe driver not the play here. I don't know. Maybe not. Start to teach you how to hard knock a lot of the guys. So. There it is. Good ball. Middle, but oh well, the first one went out to the right. So it's challenging me to, you know, how do you repeat those shots and take the doubles out of play? Will, you hit a, a lovely little fillet over here to the right Absolutely. in the woods. I had one right down the middle though, right? You did, you did. And then one here, and yeah. guess which one I get to play. You get to play this one. Exactly, so here we go. I've got to punch this shot out. So this is a shot that I've got. Just trying to hit a little cutter around there. Whew. Very nice. That is Get on the green. perfect. But it's on the green. Oy. But oh. here's the problem. I gotta do it again. Right? So the beauty about this game is if I had to do this twice, I'm now definitely not thinking that risky shot, right? I'm thinking if I'm playing you for money, I'm thinking how do I get out to there? So knowing that that was a really good shot, I'm gonna try and hit this one as good as I can. I'm actually got a precept lady here, so this might fly a little bit higher off the face. <laughs> but let's see what we can do. Twice in a row. Oh, yeah. Oh, But do you know what I'm saying? Like, in my mind, I was like, if I had to do two shots from here, I wouldn't have played that club, right? But that's the cool thing about it. It challenges you to realize that probably a safer play was a little bump seven iron just back into the fairway and then yep. take my two sandwiches. So I'm playing passive automatically by playing two balls. Love it. All right, let's go find mine. Let's do it. So that was literally close to a 380 yard drive, but the great part about worst ball golf, Cordy, is guess what? You get to go and play the one in the trees. That you hey! 
All right, so here's the beauty now, right? Let's go ahead and take a look. You've got trees in the way, bunker on the right. You have to do it twice. So what do you do? This is, this is actually a tricky shot. Yeah, I, um, I don't yeah. have the answer here. Isn't it that little forearm we talked about? That little sting of forearm? Yeah, I mean, that's the, that's the safe play. I grab the wedge automatically, right? Yeah, because you, what, are you going to hook a wedge downwind out of rough? Yeah, that's going to go Something really like, well. Right? All right, let's hit the four. So again, the beauty of this is it challenges you to start to realize that you have to pull it up twice, so you start to play passive. So let's go ahead and see it. It's that little stinger shot. All right. Right of the flag stick and just try and chase it up. You're only going to land this one about 70 yards, right? Just yep. That, that. So a little stinger, the little zip. Baby. Get in the hole. Tell me that you can zoom in on that camera. That's about eight feet. <laughs> Very nice. Now, let's see it again, buddy. <laughs> sit, sit hard. That is impressive. Sit. Back 40 feet past the Not hole. bad. From right here. Super happy. Right? I mean, that's way better than the wedge I was going to hit. one shot, what you done? You'd have tried to launch a pitching wedge and try yeah. to hook it downwind and blocks into the right bunker or, right? Yeah, no so good. This really shows you the patience that you have to have and starts to give you the percentage shots. Yep. I'm going to go back to that one. I mean, an amazing shot out of the trees to here, but i got to go back over to this one. All right, four foot circle. That's all we're trying to do. Get the pace in the right realm. Here we go. All right, not bad. Come on, go in, go in, go in. Hey. Oh. So, now I gotta make both of these for my par and you gotta make both of those for your par. All right, bogey for me. There it is. So where did mine break down? Mine was with my short game, not chipping it close enough to the hole. Nice job, now you gotta make it yep. again. This is for a stellar par here. This is how you break the plateau, Cordy. All right. Right here, being able to make it under the pressure. There it is. Well, that feels good. So again, you get, you get the idea here. It really challenges you to play passive. You made a 70 foot bomb for birdie. It doesn't count, yeah. right? What do you thought? Uh, I, I mean, that right there is what it's all about, right? Yeah. Because I can go on the practice screen and do a bunch of putts, but when it comes down to it, that second putt right there, that's the feeling that I need to get yeah. in my gut and in my brain of like, I can make this, I can do this, look at this. Yeah. I'm going to keep getting in the reps. Yeah, exactly. All Love right, it. now we get to go and change over. Now we go to the front tees. And let's go as low as we possibly can. We're going to be bombing driver off of the reds. Yep, let's do it. So we're now looking for getting it up right by the green. And because getting comfortable being under par is the goal yeah. of this one. So we want lots of chips and pitches onto the greens. No, no mid irons or anything. We want to really, really get aggressive when we're playing. Oh, that is a beauty. So last year I did this project even par challenge. I don't know if you remember that, but I mean this year I'm going to do like a project 65, 65 and yeah, just. You have to, how far forward do you have to go and then move your way back? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Straight. So here's what I love about this game is you've ripped that dead straight, but it's 10 yards right where you need to be, maybe 15 yards right where you be, and now you're in trouble. Yeah. So this is the thing is it challenges you to have to get your driver dead freaking straight. Yeah. Right? And yeah. there's no layup off the tee box. It's 
driver all day, learn how to hit dead straight, and then get yourself wedges and chip shots into the greens. Okay. All right, let's go and do it. Knock it in. Birdie. Pick it up. Good. What I love about this game called you raised it just showed us that you you have to hit driver dead straight. Yeah. I ripped one dead straight into the front of the green and then shipped it to 15 feet short of the hole when I knew I needed to be long and have a putt. So my proximity wasn't in a good position. So I walk away with a par. So what it really comes down to is, can you hit it close to the hole when you get inside that, you know, 30, 50 yard zone to make your bird? Here you go. Woo! Cody Walker, a pleasure, buddy. It was fun. Truly hope that everybody watching it got a lot out of this. Hopefully you can go and apply these games to take it to the next level. What are your thoughts? Uh, this was an awesome series. We all need more coaching on the golf course to help us play better. Um, we can have fun with our golf swings, but we need to learn how to score better, and this is the best place to do it. Absolutely. Great stuff. All right.